What's up, everybody? Polius here with some more Never Alone. Uh, did some thinking about this puzzle. Worked out what I need to do for it. It's... I think I have the right idea. So last time we were stuck by that, that super rat over there. Um, we've got a few things we need to do. First, we need to keep the rat from going to one of these protective places. Remember, we, ha we have to grab the tail in order to, uh, to hurt it. So, I can't throw this down. The rat will eat it. And what I can do is use, have Fox use the currents to move the rat. Now, a couple of options. I can push the current right uh, um, right here through this crack, and that should knock the rat off. However, if I then throw the rock down there, it will get pushed all the way off of the ledge and be totally useless. I need to break that glowy bit. So... If I just throw it, if I throw it while the the current is at the very uh, top left or the very far right, it'll just get pushed uselessly to the side, or the rat will just eat it, because there's a hole right below where the current currently is. What I need to do. Is it? Yes, it works. It worked. Now, can I get uh, her on? Yes. Okay. No, I can't row against the current. I don't think. Oh, well, I'll be rowing with the current. Yeah. No, because as soon as I let go, it pushes back. So, I need to move the current down here. All right, hey, the, the musical interlude. So that tells me that I did something right. It really is quite hard to stop a canoe. Um, remember canoeing merit badge being quite interesting. It's a lot of fun though. So actually, it looks like that arc is generous enough. So I've got a yeah. Oh, oh crap! Do I? Hello. Oh, that is great. I was worried I have to repeat the whole process. Okay, so I need to push this down here. Scare the rat off. But that looks like it's going to knock it. You go back up to your top hidey hole. Interesting. It's got an aggro range. That's a stronger current than the other one. All right. So what do I need to do? I need to keep the rat away. Yeah, just drop. Thank you. Can I pull this up? Throw this down. Uh, so I should have pushed a little bit further. And now push the rat away. Oh, I can't remember any other puzzle requiring that much precision. Anyway, hopefully this means the upward current, yeah, 
So that keeps the rat from getting to either of those two, those two spots. But now I need fox up here. So that I can climb, no, 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 no. So that I can climb the, the crags here. You know, I still think that was one of my favorite class, uh, parts of the, not, not geography, geology class. Or whatever high school class it was. Talking, ha! Screw you, rat. Mouse? Oh. 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 Oh, dear. Anyway, I like the part about water. The, like, the waves and undersea creatures, that was always really cool. But now, if you excuse me, I have to... Yeah, that is kind of more mouse-like than rat-like, but... Ah, uh, Vin Diesel it! Alright. And chunks of ice. We escaped ice, too. Uh, yay? We win? Now I'm gonna have to look up the difference between rats and mice. Are, 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 are we actually done? Yeah, see, now it's not so afraid of me, now that I s just saved it from, you know, it's God Mouse. Of course. Yeah. It's, uh, I guess it's a case of, but what have you done for me lately? Respect for all things, you know, don't chase mice, and you won't face the, the, the Ur creature from which it was forged. That's that's cool. That looks like an actual picture. Yeah, so Oh, that's the end of Foxtails. That was, you know, about an hour of playtime, which you know is kind of par for the course for most small DLC, I guess. Um Foxtail's story inspired by two coastal brothers as told by Willie Panic Goodwin Sr. With permission from his family. Well, I have to say that aside from that puzzle at the end, which I don't recall in the original game, requiring any moment of needing to time something like that. You know, you, you needed a time running past the Aurora spirits, but I don't recall. That puzzle felt different. It felt like it had a different solution than the other ones did, which is neat, but that was a little frustrating. Overall, though, this game was... The, the DLC was as much fun as, fu as the original Never Alone. I, I'm kind of sad that it's over. I would certainly, certainly play any more Never Alone. Any more, uh... Any DLC that comes out. I'll, I'll you know, money, money willing, I'll get it. And I will definitely enjoy playing this again sometime, off camera. Getting all of the uh, little cultural tidbits and you know, learning something. So that was probably the best part about this whole series, was actually getting to sit down and learn about a culture that I actually don't know very much about. It's, you know, there's, you know, so much in the world to, to see and know. It's, it's always good to find a small part of that and see people finding joy and bringing that to others. It's, you know, the, um, I'm going to start waxing a little cheesy here, but I think that's one of the greatest things that we have in the modern world is being able to share that kind of information so easily in so many creative ways. And I think that's what made this game, part of this game, so great, was just getting to see the world through a different set of eyes. Um, sorry if that sounds a little pretentious, but yeah, that's the, the, the classical scholar in me talking still. I, I do enjoy that sort of thing. Enjoy, you know, creation myths and folk, folk tales. 
and we'll definitely try finding other games like this one. You know, with the same kind of angle of, of storytelling. Certainly, I have another adventure platformer in mind, and I will go ahead and have an episode, you know, start recording some new episodes for that. Um, given how short this one has been, and I don't know how many people are going to sit through talking to the credit part, I'm going to go ahead and upload another one of the episodes with of Tadpole Trouble just so that we today, just so it's not voice, just so that it's not as, uh, you know, it's just not a short. I, I always hate when uh, YouTubers do a really short episode and we get nothing else out of it. So I'll, I'll take care of that. Interesting. So Voice of Noon, I guess there were some points where she did vocalize a little bit. You know, it never really occurs to me how much you, you know, you still need a voice actress for the, the sounds that characters make when they jump or, you know, are, are unfortunately killed. So, yeah, I don't have much else to say about it. Uh, I can't think of anything that I would would have made me enjoy the game more. It, it kind of it was a perfect it was a perfectly contained story, and it's set up for some really fantastic. Well, it's set up well for DLC, as you can just adapt more stories in that way as long as there's two characters, which you know so far as my experience has been seems to be the pattern. Um, notice Sans font. Sorry, just reading all of the uh, the credits. I never usually get this long into the credit section, which is a real shame because a lot of people put work into these games. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off audibly here and let the credits continue to roll. This is Ben Polius playing through Never Alone and Foxtails. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see everyone again next time. So long.